what's up guys welcome back to my channel um it's been a while uh i'm not sure how long it's been since i uploaded last but today is december 26 2023 which marks the eight year anniversary of me being on youtube um which is a long time um, but that is not the reason why I'm making a video today. Um, I'm making a video because I am not doing okay. Um, I just got fired from my job and I'm just not in a good position. Um, so I just want to talk about that on camera tonight because I got a lot of stuff to get off my chest and I want to try to do this video in one take. Um, so if there are a couple awkward pauses, then I do apologize. Um, but yeah, let's get right into it. So... Four months ago, I got hired at Target um, because I was just in a bad position financially. Um, my mom had forced me to get a job and I ended up getting hired at Target, um, which was my second job, if you guys don't remember. Um, in 2022, I worked at ShopRite for five months, and then I was good enough to support myself without having to have a job. Um, and I was unemployed for 11 months. Um, and something came up with my acting school. There was this showcase that I was offered to do um, and it was extremely expensive. It costed me $3,000 out of my life savings. Um, 3000 of the $5,000 I made at ShopRite along with the extra money that I was making. Um, and last minute I chickened out and I didn't go to the showcase because I was scared. I was, I didn't believe in myself and it really, it really came to bite me um, because I had lost $3,000 and potentially the opportunity of a lifetime. Um, and a month later in August, my mom decided it, that's enough and forced me to get a job and I got hired at Target. Um, and I was in such a bad position that I lied on my application and I actually lied a little bit in my interview. Um, and I guess I got karma in the end because they gave me the polar opposite of what I asked for um, in my resume and um, interview I said that I like slow paced work I like to work in the back by myself just work at my own pace and they put me right in the front they said you know what let's not listen to this kid and let's give him the exact opposite of what he's looking for um and i worked as a checkout slash service advocate um which is working on register and self-checkout guest service and the most infamous one in my four months of working there drive up um, and what drive up is, it's basically like shop from home, um, curbside pickup, stuff like that. Um, register was the worst. Um, I 
hate retail. Everyone hates retail. Um, but since I have severe anxiety and anger issues, I get very flustered and overwhelmed easily. Retail and anxiety don't really go together. So I have had a couple arguments with customers and only one, maybe one and a half months into working there, um, I was on my third strike. They had given me all three strikes and for whatever reason, um, they did not fire me. Um, and then three months later in um, December, earlier on in the month, I got into this argument with this woman. Um, I was working drive up and if you have worked or do work in drive up or something similar to drive up, you would know that, um, you know, fulfillment, the fulfillment um, department, they go out into the store and they gather all the items in the order and they put the order in the stow area. And then the drive up workers, they take the orders out of the stow area and bring them out to the cars in the parking lot, which is what I was doing. It was a very busy day and there was no room for stuff. So the fulfillment department had to like put items from different orders all over the stow area. And it was a, a, big, a big shit show. And they ended up telling me at one point, but I had forgot because I had so much stuff on my plate. Um, so I brought this woman's order out, not realizing that like half her order was still inside in the stow area. And it started off as a normal interaction. You know, drive up was a lot better for me. Yeah, it was stressful because it was very fast paced and multiple orders at once and like delivering the orders in under three minutes bullshit. But I had a good time sometimes in drive up and I've, I've interacted with people a lot easier um because you know it's not checking people out and putting their stuff in the bags and stuff it's just giving them their order and leaving um it started off like in a normal order and about 20 seconds in she's putting her order into the trunk i think she was driving like a volkswagen beetle or some shit like that but she realized she's like where's this where's that where's that and she's showing me her order and I had mixed up two items. She said, where's my tide? I thought she said, where's my tie? Now there was a bottle of tide in the order and there was a bow tie in the order. And you know, I'm gonna be honest. I had one AirPod in, I was, you know, listening to music, not super loud that I couldn't hear anything, but I was listening to something. Um, and, <clears throat> you know, she was not really talking. She was talking very fast. So I misheard the word tied and thought she said tie. So as I was looking at the order, I noticed that it said INF, which means item not found. And when an item is INF, that means the store doesn't have it. So I was trying to explain to her what INF means. And she didn't care. And she was like, you better go into the store and find it and do all this and that. So I was trying to stay calm. I was getting angry, but I wasn't showing that I was angry. Um... I heard a fox or something. Um, but anyway, I was, you know, starting to lose my patience. So I just walk away. I'm like, you know what? I I'll go look for her fucking order, but I'm walking away from you. Um, and this move right here is the reason why I got fired. I remember her yelling what is your name? Tell me your name. What is your name? Now, this is the first time somebody has screamed, what is your name at me? So I turned around and 
as soon as I heard her screaming, what's your name? Tell me your name. I just snapped. And I was like, you know what? Fuck this. I'm not going to be passive aggressive anymore. I'm pissed off. My name is Ben. I screamed. My name is Ben. And um, now I know I'm not legally supposed to or illegally, um, you know, I don't legally have to tell people, you know, my name when they ask. I could have just ignored her. Or she could have just read my name tag. Um, let me go get it, actually. You can see, clear as day, that my name is Ben. Even though it probably comes up backwards for you, it's Ben. Um... So yeah, I went inside and as I was looking for her order, um, she was out in the parking lot talking shit to my other coworkers and stuff like that. And she must have went online or something because Target has this thing where you can like rate employees and stuff like that. And she must have said something and my manager must have saw it and... One thing led to another about two and a half weeks later, I get fired. Um, approximately three days ago, I got fired. Um, and I honestly don't know how to feel about it. Part of me is glad that I got fired because uh, I might seem like I'm overreacting, but the four months I spent working at Target were the lowest four months of my entire life. And I've, I've gone through some shit in the past. I think they're like deer or some shit in the backyard and hear a lot of noise. Yeah. Horrible. <laughs> um, unbearable. I mean, it's retail. What do you, what do you expect? Um, but part of me is glad that I got fired because I have this huge weight lifted off my chest. I don't have to deal with hearing that horrible sound that my device makes when a customer arrives to pick up their order or hearing, Ben, can you go to four on the walkie talkies and stuff like that but another part of me is upset because you know i got fired and i don't like leaving things on bad terms nobody does um and i have no money right now because of what i said five months ago i flushed three thousand dollars down the drain um i only have eight hundred dollars in my entire life savings. Um, so, yeah. And immediately, my mom, find a new job. You gotta get a new job. Find a new job. I'm not gonna get a new job. I'm not gonna get another job. Because since I got fired, I just, yeah. I'm depressed now and I, I got other shit going on. I got heart problems and I'm in pain all the time. My circadian rhythm is messed up. But since I got fired, I finally have a little bit of time to just do what I want. And, you know, I'm 17 going on 18. My life is going to start in five months or so um and i'm doing what i want right now i'm doing what makes me happy right now i'm sitting down i'm making videos and um this is what i want to do you know i'm i'm planning on making a movie it's it's slowly happening slowly making progress on that and um now that i'm unemployed I'm going to try to start doing YouTube full time. Uh, I know I say that a lot. I said that last time 
I <laughs> uploaded, but now I actually kind of have to start doing YouTube full time because it's the only way I could possibly make a little bit of money. Um, I'm probably going to start streaming on Twitch soon. I just got to get um, enough money to buy all the equipment and stuff. I already have stuff behind me and uh, I have a mic and stuff. I just have to get a better PC. Um, yeah, I want to prove to my mom that YouTube is a job and yeah, I just, just what I want to do and if we could hit 400 subscribers, that would be great. I'm at 349 right now. So if you come across this video, please subscribe. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I just want to get all that off my chest. Um, yeah. Well, anyway, um, that's it for today's video. If you like this video, make sure you give that like button a fist pump. Subscribe if you're new. I am hopefully going to remember to upload daily. Um, maybe, not, maybe not daily at first. Maybe I'll do, um, one day and then another, probably like four times, five times a week, something like that. Um, uh, but I am definitely going to start uploading more. I'm going to start doing YouTube full time. Um, subscribe if you're new, please. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.